Hi there and welcome back. Annie here. Um, so I'm here to give a little introduction around my Consent Creators course. Um, this is a one hour of material around the concept and practice of consent. So I'm creating this course, uh, this material, wanting to share it because not only for the past few years because of the Me Too movement, but also just in general, um, uh, the larger cultures, we're moving from a culture of non-consent to consent. Um, and there are a lot of layers there. It can be confusing and it can really help us to learn about consent, um, to just increase our capacity for intimacy in our relationships. Um, it can help us release inhibitions and give us a little bit more confidence, um, whether we're dating or perhaps we're in a long-term relationship. This is relevant either way. Um, yeah, so consent creators. What does that even mean? Um, I think that we are all consent creators. I think that this material, this concept, um, the practice of consent is not only relevant for our intimate relationships, but also for the workplace, for our relationships with children, for our relationships in familial and or platonic relationships. Yeah. So this material is also really uh, important if you're wanting to be a trauma-informed lover, if you are realizing you have some anxieties um, in the dating world, or you're just wanting to um, know how you can uh, ask for an escalation in a relationship, or even just in a moment of sensuality, um, with confidence, with knowing, um, you know, everything's happening in a consensual way. And we can only really play and have fun and explore if things are happening in a consensual way because um, adult play happens in the context of safety. So what creates safety for each of us is different. It's not the same for everybody. So that's why talking about consent is really important because we can assume easily that consent might mean just asking, which could be true for somebody, Hey, can I hold your hand, for example? Um, but some people, uh, if you're if you're in an established relationship, if safety ha and rapport has been created, um, someone might prefer that you just go for it, or you just really just ask what you and advocate for what you want without asking permission. Um, especially if there is um, a desire for arousal or turn on, um, what ultimately creates that for each of us is unique. Um, yeah. So one thing that uh, is included in this course, the consent creators, um, is just more detail about like what consent is. Um, there's some experiential tools around boundaries um, that I will walk you through and how an introduction into how to have a consent co conversation. Um, so once again, not assuming a person has any specific relationship with consent, but that you can have that meta, like um, a more zoomed out view perception of consent with someone. Hey, how do you relate to consent? Are you open to talking about that? Um, instead of assuming anything, um, which in and of itself is really great practice for relationship and just not assuming uh, one way or another and creating uh, safety in that conversation for your preferences as well. The others, where do they meet? Yeah. So thank you for tuning in. Um, I'm going to post the link uh, to the consent creators course below. So please check that out. And thank you so much for your interest in being a consent creator. And I hope to see you there on the Gumroad platform for the, uh, for the course. Bye-bye.